Hi Space Cats and welcome back to my channel. In this week's video we will be discussing strange stars. So let's jump straight into it. These in turn comprise of neutrons, protons and electrons particles of no charge, positive charge, and negative charge, respectively. In the atom, the neutrons and protons live inside of the atomic nucleus, whereas the electrons orbit outside. But protons and neutrons are not fundamental particles. That's to say they aren't the smallest building blocks in our universe. We can break them down into even smaller components known as quarks. Currently, there are six known quarks. The up quark, the down quark, the top quark, the bottom quark, the charm quark, and the strange quark. Baryons, which you may recall I speak of quite regularly on my channel simply as ordinary matter, are actually subatomic particles made up of an odd number of three or more quarks. The proton is made up of two ups and one down quark, and the neutron is made up of two downs and an up quark. They are both types of baryons. As you might have guessed, the strange star is made up of strange quarks. Strange quarks can be found in strange matter. When modeling strange stars, scientists found that they could also have a typical stellar mass of one to two solar masses and a radius of about 10 kilometers. But in order for strange matter to form, you need immensely high pressure environments in order to dissolve the atoms and subatomic atoms into their quark constituencies. If strange stars actually exist, then you would expect them to resemble and be easily mistaken for as neutron stars, the second most dense thing in our universe after black holes. As they too would form in the death of a massive star in a type 2 supernova, be extremely dense and small, and possess a very high gravitational field. If the pressure at their core is high enough and the temperature low enough, then that strange matter can form and remain stable at the core. And if the strange matter is only in the core, then that is to say they're surrounded by a crust of neutron material. They would be very hard to distinguish from an ordinary neutron star. Strange stars covered by such a crust are known as crusted strange stars, and those without crusts are known as bare strange stars. Over the years, several candidate strange stars have been proposed, but how do you distinguish a strange star from a neutron star? It was argued by Pizzo Cemo in 1991 that strange stars and neutron stars cool very differently. Strange stars cool much faster than neutron stars. However, this would only be observable in the first 30 years after their births. Since strange matter is more stable than nuclear matter that makes up neutron stars, it has been proposed that it could be a true ground state. In other words, they no longer decay into something else, whereas a neutron can decay into a proton. If strange matter is a true ground state, then it's likely that the universe is contaminated by strange matter nuggets, known as strangelets, that could have been ejected from strange stars. These are also candidates for dark matter. Such so strangelets, depending on their traveling velocities, could then convert other neutron stars into strange stars, contaminating them. And this means that pulsar-like compact stars, thought to be neutron stars, could in fact actually be strange stars. It's generally believed that strange stars are radio pulses, beacons of radio emission that may even be responsible for fast radio bursts. Strange stars should in principle have much faster rotation periods because they have much smaller radii and this could be identified from the pulsar emission. Lastly, electrons are held to quark matter electrostatically on the surface of a bare strange star. So you might expect to see an electric field and featureless spectra since no ions would be above the quark surface. 
Overall, there are a few ways that make it possible to observe these strange stars, and although several candidates have been identified, these objects are still hypothetical of yet. It may be that they're hiding in plain sight as neutron stars, as pulsars, or they could even be the elusive dark matter that we're all searching for. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave me a like, share, and subscribe.